What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Chrysalaneous YouTube video today guys. We're doing something fun. Um, this is more related to everything we've been doing over there on Twitch. Um, <clears throat> you might already know my chat actually has the ability to make me transfer shiny Pokemon. So we're going to be taking a look at some of that today. Um, we've got a tier list going and we've got the fabulous Mr. Vlad the Man himself. On the video here with us. Hi everybody. Um, I'm Mr. Vlad the Man. Uh, I'm one of Chris's moderators um, and also a, a streamer myself at twitch.tv forward slash Mr. Vlad the Man. Um, yeah, that's me for now. And uh, Chris, why don't you explain a little bit as to what this tier list is for? No. I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you out in the next one. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, make sure you go check out Mr. Vlad the Man on Twitch. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, my name on Twitch is the same. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Chrysalaneous. Um, but what we're doing here is, <clears throat> I kind of touched on it a second ago. I have made a tier list of all the Pokemon that the chat has made me transfer in the live streams over the course of the last couple months. We have... About 50-ish Pokemon in here. Um, for the Pokemon that were duplicated, we decided to only use one image because we're not going to rate them twice. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. there's some pretty interesting ones in here, huh? Yeah, there were. Um, it, 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 no, to just put it to note, uh, most of my channel points have got, has gone into this particular <laughs> bucket. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite proudly i might add <laughs> yes yes um i believe maybe 10 pokemon total have not been uh due to mr vlad the man so i thought he was a good person to have here on stream with us or on the video with us today so he could kind of he was there for all of this happening too you know what i mean he he felt the pain i felt so uh yeah there were definitely some some of them in here that i was just like no why <laughs> i wanted him to hurt but not this bad <laughs> uh so then uh so then s is going to be the ones i hurt the most then or is it going to be the ones that we enjoyed the most with the transfer the s is going to be well how do we want to rank it are we going to rank it from the viewer's perspective or from from like mine like from how much it hurt me I'm... uh let's go with s tier being the most painful for the streamer and yeah. then d tier being the most painful for the viewer uh i think it's a nice balance there <laughs> yeah i like that i i think that's great actually so there's a couple things well that i think we both agree on as far as this tier list goes like um community days are gonna be low on the list like we don't care that those guys got transferred and uh right you know, because yeah, I mean, the stigma behind them is you already you don't have thirty of them. You're not playing Pokemon Go correctly. Exactly, <laughs> and like you said earlier, that fits well with the tiering because the viewer themselves is probably not very happy when they redeem transfer a shiny, and it's like <laughs> like a community day that I have thirty of. Right, like oh boy, another shiny Charmander gone. Oh no. Oh no, our Charmander, <laughs> it's broken. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, uh I think there's gonna be some good ones in here though. There definitely been some good ones. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And so before we get into it, is there is there one that hurt you the most that you're you know, one that you really felt the ouchies for? Uh, let me take a look here at this list that we've got going on. Um, you know, that's, that's Smeargle. I know how difficult it is to get that Smeargle because I don't have a shiny one myself. Uh, so that one was definitely on the hurt list. Oh, for sure. For me. Oh my goodness. That one definitely hurt the most for me. Yeah. I, I forgot that that was something they could transfer when it happened. I was like, fudge, bro. They, oh. all yeah, right. Cause you got a whole to photo bomb and be shiny it's just too, it's difficult um well one that hurt me a lot that you guys might not have expected was p dove i only had one it's a fairly new shiny so i haven't had a lot of time to be able to actually get it 
or get multiples. Mm-hmm. And I'm not seeing a lot of P-dubs, so that'll probably be up there. Um, our first one, however, <clears throat> is Altaria. Um, I think Altaria is an interesting shiny. Uh, it's been around for a little while now, as far as the shiny is concerned. Um, and it's had a couple community. It's had what one or two community days at this point in time. Yeah, it's had two community days there. Uh, the only downside, the only difference about this one than the other community days is that it cost four hundred candies to evolve it into this. Yeah, which means all the ones that you're catching is it's just going to cost you a lot, anyways. Right. Um, so, for me to have three Altaria's shiny, I need to ev- to spend twelve hundred Altaria candies or Swablu candies. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that this one's probably going to be a B tier, right in the middle. It's a community day Pokemon, which kind of sucks, but it's a really pretty community day Pokemon, in my opinion. Um, and the cost of basically throwing away four hundred candies to transfer it. No, it definitely hurt the streamer. <laughs> oh, for sure. And <clears throat> I forget what its community day move was, because some of the community day Pokemon are worth keeping if they have the move. And um, some of the Pokemon, they were doing, like, increased spawns for COVID year, where you could mm-hmm. get, like, 30 shinies. But before that, the community days, you'd be lucky to get 12, or you know what I mean. So... <clears throat> right um from what i can see here it looks like it might have been moonblast moonblast oh yeah i don't care about moonblast okay. yeah it's not a great move in, po- in pogo pvp so eh, it is what it is all right well our next one is i guess i should uh <clears throat> you know what i'm gonna do real quick is see if i can get give me one second Mm-hmm. I think I'm going to try to mirror my Pogo screen onto the video right now so people can see it if we want to look if we have multiples and all that good stuff. Which will just take a second there. Boop. Okay. This should be on the screen share once it's done loading, so you can see it as well. Because I feel yeah. like I feel like that's going to help us determine what things were really worth. Um, okay. Yeah. Really painful or whatnot. Don't know how to make this thing smaller. There we go. Okay. Mm, maybe on the other side. Yeah, other side. Ah, oh, other yeah. side's perfect. All right. Now, before you start, uh, click on the Google, the actual Google tab, and then see if that actually just makes it disappear or something, or if it just hovers over. The Google tab? Oh, shoot. You're right. <laughs> um, here, shove it all the, way to the, all the way to the side, and then you can actually just uh, change the dimensions at that point. Or do it that way, that works too. Okay, I think yeah, I think that's a good strat for now. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, so Bidoof, our Lord and Savior, is our next God one here. Himself, and he's got the power of anime on his God and anime on his side. Um, mm-hmm. Here's the thing: Bidoof itself <clears throat> is not the most incredible shiny, right? Right, because it's just a golden form of itself. Yeah, and it's brown normally. Like this is the problem with this is I've only gotten one, <laughs> and you only have four in your inv- three in your inventory afterwards. Yeah, I we transferred the only shiny Bidoof I have, um, mm-hmm. which also hurts. I think this is a tier. I can agree to that. It was pretty entertaining to watch this one in particular. Um, I was laughing pretty hard when it happened. And then seeing that you only had the one. 
yeah, that was uh, not very pleasant on my end there. <laughs> um, all right. So then our next one is Shiny Caterpie. Uh, I, th for some reason, I remember this hurting a lot more than I wanted it to, you know? Mm -hmm. Shiny yeah. Shiny and Caterpie. Um, I don't know exactly, like... Um, it, it looks like you might not have any other ones. Oh, there we go. Okay. Singular so, <laughs> I do have another one, right? I have a Butterfree, but I don't have enough to complete the family. Um, right. Caterpie has not had a community day or anything of the sort. Um, I do believe <laughs> this guy falls A tier as well. How do you feel about that? Um, I can agree to that. I can definitely agree to that, uh, especially with how difficult it is to find a Caterpie nowadays, just because of how far into the generations we've come. And now the Hisuian event with Hisuian Voltorb, you just don't see Caterpies out in the wild anywhere near as frequently. Right, right. I would totally agree. Um, let's see. Did I spell Chansey wrong? Do I just not have a Chansey? Uh, C-E-Y. You could do Happeny too. Oh, happening. That should, pull up, that should pull up the entire line. Do I not? What? Shut Have up. we really transferred them all? <laughs> yeah, that's that doesn't seem right. <laughs> yeah, okay. So oh, Chansey happening. No. Uh, I guess they're the next two. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> so I remember these two. They were technically both duplicates because both times we had rolled blissey oh yeah we did huh because they yeah, were right back together were, yeah they were they were almost like within a day of each other um so both chancy and happy were substitutes for the blissey transfers oh my god oh <laughs> my god <laughs> Those, that that automatically sets them S tier because we they got sniped both times. <laughs> wow, you guys did some damage. And here's what I have to say: Happeny hurts more than Chansey because you know how you get a shiny Happeny. <laughs> oh, that's only a seven k egg. <laughs> you have to hatch this. <laughs> You have to hatch this, and only at very specific times. You, oh no. <laughs> you have regular shiny odds, maybe once a year, twice a year possibility for about two weeks each time to potentially hatch this. <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's about right. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> I mean... Chansey is either in the same tier as Bidoof and Caterpie, but there is a distinct difference between Ca Chansey and Happeny. <laughs> oh, absolutely is. Oh um, my God. I would say Chansey's higher up than Caterpie for sure. Well, we can do this for now. We can yeah. adjust, okay? We can adjust, for sure. Now, the next one I'm interested in seeing is Clefairy. Uh, we have a shiny Cleffa. We did hatch that. We don't have to mm -hmm. transfer it, which is good. And despite <laughs> our transfer, we still have three Clefairies and one Cle or four Clefairies and one Clefable. Um, yeah, so I'd say it's a pretty common thing, or it was common at the time that you may have caught all these. Um, yeah, I mean, I want to. I really want to put it in the B tier because I. I really like the shiny, but ultimately, when it hit, you know, I was glad it wasn't something else. So maybe it's more of a C tier, or yeah, C tier. Mm -hmm. But I just like to say that I, I that hurts more than Altaria. <laughs> yeah, I can agree to that. Um, because I think that Clefairy also had a community day as well, didn't it? No, I don't think no, so. Not yet. I thought it maybe it did, but if it didn't, then that's impressive that you were able to catch so many of them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now this next one, there's no room for debate. Diglett, I am glad this guy's out of here, man. I uh, so upset when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 
I've got four Diglets and one and Doug Trio. trio. <laughs> <laughs> and I hate this shiny. Uh, it, it, it definitely wasn't one of my favorite transfers because it's such a minimal difference. It's literally just nose. Right. Um, not my favorite transfer, honestly. Uh, I'd say Grovile. He had a calm day, Trico. Uh, I think he's D tier. Mm-hmm. I don't really care. Yeah, it, it, it D tier because it was fairly common and it's still you can fairly you can find him pretty easily. Uh for Gengar, yeah, I'm glad we agree. For Gengar, um I think I'm okay with that. I think that's also D tier. I'm currently looking at eight other shinies in the family. That's fair. Um I would say C tier because it can mega evolve. It can. Uh, and those mega uh, and those mega candies are are still pretty difficult to try and come by, um, but swing October, it's a pretty pro- it's a pretty significant like significant amounts of Pokemon. So for sure, I think he did have a good Community Day to move to, so that's fair. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, but I think C T is appropriate for Gengar. So this might be a controversial opinion here. Um, I believe Gibble is D tier. Yeah, um, had it been pre-Community Day, I think it would have automatically skyrocketed to S-tier. Uh, but post-Community Day, super common. As you can see, you've got a couple. <laughs> just a couple. <laughs> just, a, just a couple, yeah. Just a few. Uh, <laughs> Not too many. I, nah. You know, I could use some more, but I think that's... A... <laughs> I think that's just all D-tier. Yeah. Um... Now, Giratina. <laughs> Giratina. Now, this one hurt because goddamn is Giratina beautiful. But at the same point in time, and please forgive me, I know this is not the same form that I have, mm-hmm. shiny, but this is worse than Chansey, not as bad as happening. I don't- Put it in front of Chansey for sure, then, um, or behind Happy. Either way, the the tier the, the, the tiering fits. Yeah, um, I think it is an S tier, specifically because it is a legendary Pokemon that at this point is seasonal. Right, <laughs> it is it is seasonal, and I can't remember um, how many raids I did. I the raids had to have been like virtuous for me because i ended up with four of them right Mm -hmm. so i don't think i did too many like i'm pretty sure i did under 40 and got four of them um so i don't think i overspent on them at all i mean i did i did overspend but i think the individual value of one is not insane um right um and i think that that's fair but it it's definitely one of my favorite transfers so far. Uh, not the favorite, but definitely one of them. Um, specifically because it is a legendary. The only legendary on this list I might add. Yeah, it is the only one. I was kind of surprised when I was making the tier list there. To mm-hmm. see that. Um, now, the next one. Maybe a controversial oh, this one. one. <laughs> this one hurt you. <laughs> Dude, you don't understand the amount of grinding it took for this. This Goldeen. Yeah, I, I remember you went on, like, a good five-minute rant for this one. <laughs> I think you guys, like, visibly made me angry for this for this one. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's solid of an S tier right next to yeah. Happy, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> Anything, any shiny that invokes, like, a rage fit uh, probably is an S tier there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> now, Elomise might be a little... A little rough. Um, uh, you've transferred two of these already, I believe. Have I? This was another duplicate. Okay. Um, I want to say this hurt more than Caterpie and Bidoof. Um, mm-hmm. Not as much as Chansey, but I think that would probably put it with an A tier. Um, yeah. I do have one left. <laughs> now... I don't know if I had three and I transferred two, that might be more B tier. But if I mm-hmm. had two and I transferred one, it's probably an A tier for me. 
Right. Um, I would say that definitely B tier. You can actually move it in between Bidoof and Caterpie or put it in front, and that would that would be appropriate, I think, for, for sure. where that lands. Okay. All right, we've got Kingdra up next, and I don't know how bad this hurt me. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> One out of the two of them. I think this is... I think this is A tier. I was okay with it. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want it to happen again. <laughs> no, no, absolutely. I think A tier is appropriate for it. Yeah. Um, it's it's a pretty shiny in my opinion too. I like the I like its color scheme. I know it's not great in PvP, but it's still a nice Pokemon to have. It's a nice trophy. Oh, for sure. Um, and it's not really. I don't think it's had a community day either, so that's you know keeps a little value up on that. Uh. Our next one, Vlad, where do you think Clink falls? Ooh. Clink is a fairly new Pokemon. It came with the Gen 5 line, I believe. Mm hmm Um So it still it still has its chance to be reintroduced every now and then. Um unlike older Pokemon at this point. So I don't think it's gonna hurt too badly once it comes back out maybe around the summertime is usually when I, when I've seen it last, but um, I'd say probably B or C tier even actually. Really? In my opinion. In my opinion. Really? Okay. Mm -hmm. You know where I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, why is that? It hurt, dude. You can only hatch this. Oh no, you can get it from raids. You can get it from raids. Yes. It was my only one though, and this one was a hatched shiny, so it did hurt. Um, maybe it leads, okay. maybe it leads the front in a tier because it's also in raids. Happy was not in raids, right? And Clink is, Sorry. yeah, Clink is actually in eggs. I think wow. that's in ten k's or seven. Uh, I can I can look into that. I think that's um, available throughout the rest of the year okay cool let's take a look here according to the sylph road whenever it decides to load uh 10k eggs yes yes it is now 10ks are no easy thing to hatch but no but it is one of the more common pokemon in there at least compared to you know axie or noibat with a 15.7% chance to hatch. You know, now that we're talking about this, I'm thinking maybe we do put it in S tier, but maybe Goldeen mm. Lee... No, Goldeen Goldine was a bad time. Yeah, Goldeen was definitely a bad okay. time. Yeah, we did that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Now, Lantern... Lantern is rough because... Lantern is really good for PvP. Mm -hmm. Um, like really good. One moment. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm back. Uh, <laughs> Lantern is really good for PvP. He's a beautiful shiny, and uh, well, I have two. Mm -hmm. Um, and I can only use one of them. For I, I don't know, dude. I this this is either, either B or A tier for me. Mm, I can agree to B tier. B tier, okay. I can agree to B tier, yeah. Like top of B tier, yeah. Yeah, I think that that's pretty fitting there. I think B doof is top of B tier, honestly. Apparently not. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about Leafeon? That C or D tier. Absolutely. I'm, I mean I'm leaning uh, towards I mean, D. Super popular in the community, super easy to get, especially since it's already had a it's had a couple community days. And it always gets December because it's an evolution. It's right. it you know, it is what it is. Understood. Okay. <clears throat> Our next one up then is Lilip. Um Ooh. I currently do not have a shiny Lilip. I have one Cradadly 
uh, that Loveless traded me because I was very upset that I mm-hmm. couldn't complete the family. Or actually, because I didn't get one during this event after grinding. I got one after yeah. the event where he was in, in it, um, and after Loveless traded me. And then that... Yeah, that, yeah I don't know. Like fossils, fossils in general are super hard to get. Because even when they are in events, they, they usually don't have a super high spawn rate. So I'd say that that's comfortably A tier. Comfortably A? Okay. Comfortably A. <laughs> the first shiny we ever transferred. The OG. Oh, man. <laughs> I, I remember hitting the button and seeing Lucario pop up. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> I was so... like... <laughs> <laughs> and ever since that day my name has been on the channel point reward <laughs> i was like oh this is gonna be a really cool channel point award i have over 800 shinies in pokemon to go um you know this is one of the chances yeah this will, this will be fun first one is lucario so <laughs> oh, fuck <laughs> I, I think in that it ain't just roll the clip oh <laughs> Uh, okay, Magnazone is one of my favorite Pokemons. Um, mm-hmm. Pokemon, I should say. And uh, I'm a big buff for the, the Sinnoh region. But realistically here, I have I have four other Magnazones. Um, right, and that's not counting anywhere anyone else on the line, too, from, from what we can see here. Oh, you're right. Because you only put in Magna. <laughs> you true, true, you true. Oh, no, that's, no, that's all. No, that is everything. That's all. <laughs> um, now, I love this shiny, and it's good, but this, since I had multiple, I didn't have to transfer my PvP Magna Zone, which made it hurt a lot less. Um, yeah. He's either chilling. I think, I think he's C tier. I think he's probably top of C tier. Yeah, yeah, I can agree to that. Because Magnemite has been around a lot longer, um, which is why I like the shiny for it, which is why I uh, like have so many, but mm-hmm. uh, I, I don't know. I think C-tier is good for that. I think so, too. What do you think about Meryl? Um, well, I guess that kind of depends. I, I, has it had a Community Day Pokemon at all? Or a community day? So it hasn't had a community day. Um, it did have a a special research event. Um, mm, yep, I remember that. And I actually got more fortunate during that event than most people. I have mm. I have six after this one's been transferred. Um, I would say C tier. Done. C tier. Um. Yeah, because because Azumarill is a really good great ball tier po- po- pvp pokemon right um i mean absolute menace i actually use that on my team <laughs> and um so yeah i think it it, it, it definitely deserves c tier it wasn't a boring transfer for sure yeah i mean i would like to have kept it it's such a pretty shiny but you know it is what it oh, is yeah. um all right marowak now i have three two shiny cubone currently one shiny Marowak, one shiny Alolan Marowak. To me, I would have liked to keep this, um, but mm-hmm. I, you know, there's more powerful punches. I think this is C tier. Yeah, I can agree to that. Monferno, I'm throwing him D-tier. in D. Yeah. Yeah, Community Day Pokemon, same thing. It it, my, it, it Infernape isn't exactly that great in PvP. Um, at least not compared to other threats like Blaziken and charizard so mm-hmm. it's just it kind of just sits in the back uh this next one is muck but i put uh cantonian sh- uh, shiny monk <laughs> shiny muck as the picture but i don't know if this was an alolan or a cantonian that we had to transfer mm. <clears throat> I, I think it was uh cantonian you think you think it was cantonian I think it was Cantonian. Okay. For the sake of this, uh, if it's Cantonian, I believe this is a B tier. 
Mm-hmm. You yeah, don't. Agree with that. You don't see Grimer muck very often. Technically, they can be around all year, but like, and I have plenty of Alolan Grimers, but I don't have the Cantonian. I have one Cantonian Grimer, shiny, and that was what completed the family. So now I have an incomplete family, like where I came from. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, okay. Um, Omanite, Omastar, <clears throat> or specifically Ooh. Omastar is what we did transfer. Yeah, um, it is a fossil. It is an old fossil, but I don't believe you can get the legacy moves attached to it, if I'm correct, right? Um, I don't know if it ever had the opportunity for legacy moves. Okay. Um, I would say... This probably fits in B tier then. If it if it if it had the opportunity for the legacy moves, it would automatically be S tier. Um because they're legacy moves for a reason. They're just no longer available on those Pokemon. Right. Um, but I think C tier is probably where it's gonna sit at. Um hmm. I have two. Yeah. yeah. Um this is the third one we transferred. Uh, it does not hurt as bad as Lilip or Muck mm-hmm. um, or Bidoof. Let's see. This is, this is definitely a tricky placement. Yeah, he's somewhere between B or C for me. Yeah. Um, mm, I think C is an appropriate place for it then. Okay, we can put him up towards like how- the front. Yeah, like high C. Yeah, because I also don't think he has legacy moves available in Pokemon Go yet. Mm-hmm. Um, and I could be wrong on that, but I think he's okay there. Yeah, I think he's fine there. Shiny Onyx, what do you think? Um, <laughs> seeing that you have five <laughs> other options. <laughs> um. <laughs> I'm thinking C tier. Um, oh, it, it, it's a pretty, it's a pretty common Pokemon, I think. I mean, at least from what I can see on your screen. Okay, I'm gonna put it in D tier, and I want to explain why. Okay. Firstly, I have five. Secondly, this Pokemon is perma boosted, meaning you have higher than normal odds to encounter it shiny in the wild. Mm, okay. Uh, so considering I have so many and it's easier to get, I do believe it's a, on par with a community day. I can agree with that then. Yeah. Oshawa? Uh, it's already had a community day. Yes. Yep. Yeah. D (laughs) tier. Understood. (laughs) Oh man, this next one takes me back. That's right. Oh, bro. For me, this is this is an easy A tier. It may... Yeah, definitely an A tier. Yeah. Hard for me to put it at an S tier. Ooh. All right, settle it. S or A, S or A. It, I don't have another um, one. Um, he... I, w- I would say A tier. I would say A tier, and that would be right next to uh, right next to Pidove, which is coming up next too. Because um, that that those two definitely hurt. Um, I'd say even Pidove was hurt harder because I think you can. I think that you spoke more about the Pidove than you did the Pat Rat. Yeah, the Pidove. Uh, that Pidove. I remember catching it in the In and Out parking lot right after yep. the Volpix. <laughs> it was back to back shinies, and one of them, I could not believe I got. Um, uh, for me, he may not lead the leaderboard in S tier, but he's an S tier. <laughs> Rest in pieces. Rest in pieces. Uh, Pikachu is a fun one because. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, which one of its 37 forms, uh, 18 releases since the beginning of the game? Then? <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Um, yeah. It, it, which one of its hats did we end up transferring? I guess is the real question. This one didn't have a hat, <laughs> and the reason I want to put this in C tier is because the only Pikachu that is the same 
um, is also mm-hmm. an exclusive Pikachu that knows the move Surf. So this is the um, only regular shiny Pikachu I had that didn't have something special about it. Um, and I do yeah, love making it, yeah. making it all the more special. I would rather <laughs> have transferred any of these Pokemon in D tier than I would have the Pikachu. Okay, that's fair. All right. Fun fact about Pinsir. I'm setting him here, but that's not necessarily where I want him. Uh, mm-hmm. Pinsir is also a perma boosted Pokemon. Okay. I did not know that, actually. Apparently, this was my only... <laughs> You're your only one. <laughs> She's my only one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I struggle. My experience with Onyx has been I get him all the time. My experience with Pinsir has not been that. But he is... Yes, technically, his commonality is the same you know you don't see any of the, either of them very often which is why mm-hmm. they're perma boosted um and, and that could just be the case for where we live you know i mean in other areas pincer could be super common and onyx could just be non-existent right so i think c tier bottom of c tier is a good place for it he also has a mega that i can't have shiny now because i don't have it so that you know yeah um Ralts, I'm comfortable with D. The same. Yeah, that they, they, the Gallade was a disappointment as far as the community day Pokemon is concerned. For sure. Um, Gardevoir, I mean, insert Rule 34 here, I guess. But that's really about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rhyhorn, I want to put in C tier. Okay. Um, he had a community day. Rhyperior, for one, looks awesome shiny. Um, yeah, I remember that. Right? And he learned Rock Wrecker as his uh, calm day move, which is incredibly effective. Um, oh, yeah. Now, yeah, because I think that that's what put Rhyperior on the map was Rock Wrecker. Yeah. Now... I didn't have Rock Wrecker on this, but I was kind of holding on to it for when, whenever it comes back, so I could evolve into it, you know. Um, mm-hmm. For me, and I, I like the color. Uh, oh, yeah. Again, okay, yeah. yeah. Again, I would rather have transferred anything in D tier before this. Mm-hmm. Um, are you comfortable with C, or should we lower it? Um, I'm comfortable with C. It's a cool looking shiny. Um, it's one. It's definitely one of the better rock tip attackers in in the game at the moment, mm-hmm. uh, because of Rock Wrecker. And yeah, yeah, I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. Okay. Roserade. Are we both saying D tier? <laughs> I think so. Yeah. Okay. How about Snivy? Ooh. Or or its second evolution, whatever this thing's called. Yeah. Um. Yeah. <laughs> Don't remember it either. Um. It's had its community day last year? Yeah. At the end of last year. I do have 18. Yeah. Um, definitely a D-tier Pokemon. It's strong in PvP. Not super strong, but it's strong. Um, yeah, I, I think D-tier is appropriate. Okay. Um, our next one is Shiftry. Now, this Shiftry did know a Calm Day move, which was... I don't even remember. I didn't use it. I didn't care for it. Um, Leaf Storm? Leaf Storm? That does seem right. Uh, I do have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wait, 9. I have 9 other shiny C dots. Oh, sorry. Bullet Seed, which wasn't Bullet as strong as Snarl, which is what I'd already had. Um, I'm comfortable with low C tier, high D tier for Shiftry. Hold on. I might even put it lower. Um, I have nine C dots shiny, one shadow C dot. The the community day move was ineffective, um, as far as I was concerned. Uh, yeah, yeah, because bullet seed was just terrible as a move. Personally, I think this this C tier is that what you said? Um, at the absolute most, um, D tier. 
was probably where it sits comfortably though d tier yeah yeah i would agree if Uh, this was a shadow bam it'd be s tier immediately oh instantly absolutely absolutely agree with that okay this next one i've been really excited to get to we've got shinx Mm -hmm. um when this happened i went through a great deal of pain because god have i spent so much money trying to get a shiny shinx (laughs) oh my god (laughs) and within months of actually getting it from an egg (laughs) by the way god we had to transfer it um uh this is definitely an s tier absolutely well (laughs) let me ask you is it really because a month later shinx had a community day Ooh, i forgot about that that's right in the moment 21st yeah and it was announced before we transferred it like just before we transferred it but i kind of didn't know um Mm -hmm. So I felt the pain, but... <laughs> uh, but then immediate relief when you saw that Shanks was coming down as a community day on Thanksgiving weekend. Yeah. So right now, um, I have seven in the family. Um, you know what? I would say for the initial shock of it, because you hadn't found out that Shanks was a Pogo Pokemon community day yet, um, I would say it would sit comfortably at the bottom of A tier. At the bottom of A tier, Okay. Because mm-hmm. that initial shock until you found out, like, I think the very next morning that it was getting a community day move. Yeah. Um, I mean, you were devastated. That, it hurt. <laughs> that, that one hurt, yeah. Absolutely devastated. <laughs> uh, I don't think... So, n- next one, and this is the fan call out that you made, is Smeargle. Um, mm-hmm. This didn't hurt me as much as it probably should have. Uh, knowing how difficult it is to find a Smeargle in general yeah. at least for someone that plays a lot more casually like I do um, this one hurt my soul mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah uh, looking back at it I think maybe I wasn't considering all the facts when I transferred it, cause it like I said it didn't hurt me as much as I think it should have um, mm-hmm. I believe it's only been available once in the game uh i have two so that might be why i wasn't so hurt but i still kind of think this leads a or bottom of s Mm. i'd say a tier like not above chancy i would say but definitely up there okay we're almost through this let me show you something about sneasel Um, there's quite a few yeah (laughs) i'm comfortable with c or b just because i really love this i would rather have gotten rid of all of d and half of c prior than to transferring this uh steezel i can agree with that i can agree with uh bottom of b tier bottom of b yeah oh i was thinking like somewhere in c well let's see uh, well, I would rather keep a Magnazone than a Sneasel. That's fair. That's fair, and its, and it's potency isn't the same as it is in the mainstream games. So yeah, I can agree with that. Okay. Yeah, that's tier. Yeah. Uh, Swablu, I think, is a, is a D tier. We didn't put the candies into it. It didn't have the move yet. Yeah. Nah, I, I, yeah, D tier. Um, just because our Alteria got C tier, it, it's already more expensive as it is, so yeah, um, it just doesn't carry the same weight as its false form. Um, fucking Toga Kiss, dude. Oof. I think this is S tier. Yeah. Oh yeah. Only way to get a shiny Togepi from an egg. Togetic yep. was in the wild; he couldn't be shiny. This was evolved all the way through. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and I do have a shiny Togepi, but if you look closely, this is a flower crown Togepi, which is more rare. Which would be... But you can't evolve it. <laughs> but you can't evolve it. I can't get a shiny Toga Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get it back. 
Yeah. I, I will say that that's one of the things that I've disagreed with when it comes to the hat Pokemon, um, is that you can't evolve it. Why? Yeah. I, Let I, me take off the hat. Like, <laughs> right? I think it's a backward. I think it's a back end mechanic issue. Um, it's dumb. I don't think there's any I, logistical reason for it. I agree, uh, but hey, we're not in the attic, so. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Totodile. Here's the thing. Totodile's had a community day, bro. I don't even have the complete family, though. So, and this would have been the complete family. Yeah. So, I mean, it doesn't hurt necessarily, because I'm sure we'll have another chance with him. But I think he's a C tier. Yeah. Um. Actually, let me check the December community day from this last year, because I think Totodile is on that list. Now that I think about it. I think he gets um, Hydro Cannon. He does. Uh, no, never mind. It was actually uh, Piplup that was on that list. Of course. And, so, and Oshawott. So yeah, nope. He wasn't on that list at all. Rip. Yeah, C tier. I think C tier is appropriate for him. Uh, dude, Trappage. I'm going to throw in D tier all day. Yeah, I can agree with that. Community Day move, that really didn't help it out all that much. D tier. Just because Flygon in general in Pokemon Go is just not a great Pokemon. I mean, look at how low that CP is. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, this next one is... The next couple are actually... Yeah, we're ending out on some of the worst ones, I think. To... Huge hitters. Yeah. Huge. These are the worst. Um, of all time, mm -hmm. I think. Uh, obviously, with what's an S tier right now. Time pull. You only had one. He came out for Pokemon Go Fest. I caught time pull in Las Vegas at the BMX National. I caught one. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen time pull. Ever since. Ever since. Uh, and for Papal Toad was not a thing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I think that that one's uh, S tier worthy. S tier worthy? Okay. S tier worthy, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for acknowledging my trauma. Um, Tyranitar Ooh. hurts a little bit. He hurts a lot a bit. Yeah, um, I'd say so. Jesus. I don't know if he knew SmackDown when we got rid of him or not. Um, but... Mm. I mean, but but still, it, Tyranitar is a really good Pokemon for raid still, both on the dark and on the rock end. He was powered up. He was he was three K plus. Um, yeah, he was a he was a thick boy. Uh, now, I I have two shiny Larvitars as of right now that completed mm -hmm. my family, or at least gave me enough to complete it, like living dex dex wise. Um, mm -hmm. He's either he's either A or S tier, but like Time Pole, Togekiss, Happening, Lucar, everything that's in S tier, I would have rather given up Tyranitar for instead of. You know what I mean? Then it's yeah, then I think it would definitely fall in A tier at that point. Okay. Um And only because we don't know if it had its calm day move of SmackDown. The other Only thing, reply. the other thing is that I've just got multiples. Um, yeah. The only Pokemon with multiple shinies in S tier <laughs> right now is Giratina. Mm -hmm. um, everything else there has been just solo. You know what I mean? Yeah, I can agree to that. Oh God. <laughs> this one, Venomoth, Venomoth and Venonat. It was a. It was specifically a Venonat. That we transferred. Mm hmm. Because um, I don't evolve till I have two. Um, and I had one. Go figure. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> uh, this is A or S for me, man. <laughs> like, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I, and it's not common right now. I mean, it's a common Pokemon when it's out. Don't get me wrong, but. There's a more it's common version out. of it too. You could get the shadow shiny depending on the yeah. rotation. Uh, 
Uh, Only because it's just not out right now. Otherwise. It... <laughs> um, um, I'd say like top of A tier. Top of A. Yeah, I think it hurt more than Tyranitar. Maybe not as bad as the other things in S. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. This was a 2 of. Um, yeah, we we ended up getting slacking as as twice. the roll, and yeah, two of there, and we didn't have a slacking, so I think we did two vigoroths instead. Um, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I mean, I think, it's there. I think it's C tier. Yeah, it's. I mean, it's not. It had. It did it have a community in this? Maybe. What's its first evolution? Slacking? Slack off. Oh, brother. Oh, God. Okay. We're putting it in C. I, uh, I did not know that Oh, I... it has not had a community day since June <laughs> of 2019. Yeah, yeah. Oof. <laughs> it has been a minute. I don't have, <laughs> I don't have anything else in the family. <laughs> Yeah, no, those two are the only ones. Gotcha. <laughs> mm, damn it. Uh, Oof. Alright, that one hurt. Uh, Vulpix. <clears throat> I had this specific Vulpix for under a month. <laughs> um, I have one Cantonian Vulpix, one Alolan Ninetales, um... That completed my Cantonian family, and I did not even get to evolve it. Um, nope. It's a, it's a B. Yeah, it's less a, than thirty days. <laughs> it's a B or A for me, man. <laughs> um, I think I can agree with A tier. <laughs> okay. <laughs> less than thirty days, <laughs> not return to sender. <laughs> oh man. Um. You know, I'm going to put it in B. Okay. And I think you'll agree with this. Venonat, Tyranitar, Clink, Smeargle, Patrat, even Shinx, the experience. Le yeah. The hunt, everything that went into it, they, they have a little bit more hurt to transferring a Pokemon I have two of. I can understand that. Yeah. Okay. Top of B, here it is. Which brings us to our next one, Weepin' Bell. Oh, uh, you're looking for be uh, bells? Oh, wow, you don't have a bell sprout. Jesus. No, I don't. Uh, the only one I had, we transferred. Oof. Two months after getting it. Um, yep. This is A or S, my guy. <laughs> um, I can agree with A, only because you only had the one, and we don't know the next time that you're actually going to see it. Yeah. Bellsprout's not super common out there. Mm -mm. All and right. La piece de resistance. <laughs> the puff. The tough. Yeah. What am I doing? Uh, uh, there we go. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> I, I was yeah. laughing when we transferred it. <laughs> yeah, because it's... Um... I think Clefable is the better counterpart between the two. Uh huh. As far as that, like those Pokemon in Gen One PvP, uh, Clefable's just more good in every way. Honestly. Yeah. Um. I. Um, I have three more. <clears throat> I have three Jigglypuff to be specific. Um. If it was Jigglypuff, we'd be looking at something else. Uh. I. I'm yeah. comfortable with a C. Yeah, low C tier is probably... Yeah, I can agree with the low C tier. Okay. You know, obviously, Clefairy is there as well. Um, but you but know, Clefairy just hurts a little bit more because of its PvP potential. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is what our, we're looking at here. <laughs> uh, our top hitters Oof. throughout the years... Lucario, Happiny, Giratina, Goldeen, Pidove, Togekiss, and Time Pool. Man. 
52 Pokemon, 49 individual species. Oh, brother. Oof. Now, now that we've gone through everything here, mm -hmm. are there any changes you feel need to be made to this tier list? Um, for me personally, um, I would move Giratina up higher. I mean, I understand it's a, you know, fairly common Pokemon, especially around Halloween time. Um, along with Darkrai as the other legendary that shares that month, but the amount of money that you put into trying to find a legendary shiny Pokemon mm -hmm. um, just kind of outweighs everything else. That's fair. And but that's just me personally. Well, to your point, <clears throat> uh, we have three other Giratinas, right? Which, you know, is nothing to sneeze at there. Um, mm -hmm. But we have three more and he's still an S tier. Yeah. Um, and it's it, 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 but it's also one of those Pokemon that because they have multiple forms, um, its time in the spotlight does get split up, right? Unevenly, um, which sucks. But hey, we know it's going to come around again this year because it's a yearly thing. Right. That's fair. That's fair. That's fair. Um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm comfortable with him there. My personal opinion is that I would trade the Happiny for the Giratina. And Re mm -hmm. so here's the thing. Riolu and Happiny have money tags on them too uh, be mm -hmm. because of incubators and how, you know. Um, and you get less out of them. At least when you complete a raid, you, you get experience, you get all this stuff. Um, mm -hmm. I feel comfortable with him like third of the pack in S rank. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that was not a fun one. Yeah. No, oh, hey, okay. you know what? That works though. For sure. Do you think everything else that we've been looking at I think here? Every I think everything else just kind of fits really nicely where it's at, honestly. I wouldn't change anything else about this list. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, there we go. There you have it. Um, the Pokemon that hurt the most, the Pokemon that just kind of hurt in uh, A tier, B tier, the Pokemon we wish didn't leave. Uh, mm. That's B. Our C tier is Pokemon that, you know, we, we miss, <laughs> we miss, we miss them, but, you know, whatever, dude. And then yeah. D. D tier, D tier is glad, glad they are gone. Fuck those guys. <laughs> the Twitch chat felt cheated that day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is this was successful. I think this is a good tier system. We'll save it. Maybe down the road, once we transfer another fifty shinies, we'll come back and add to it. I think that'll work. Please add a title to your tier list. How about no um, shiny transfers, I guess? Anyway, Mr. Vlad the Man, thank you very much for uh, being here with me, helping me rate these shinies that you so merc <laughs> mercilessly made me murder. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. This is fun. And can you remind me where... Uh, where people can find you if they they love you your commentary or anything like that yeah uh so you guys can all find me at twitch.tv forward slash mr vlad the man i do a lot of pokemon nuzlocks at the moment uh also uh halo infinite and then soon uh destiny 2 uh the witch queen release so look forward to that in february the middle of february love it all right well, thank you again for joining me, Mr. Vlad the Man. Mr. Vlad the Man. Uh, thank you guys, everybody at home. If you go check him out on Twitch, we appreciate it. And uh, come stop by my Twitch channel if you want to, uh, you know, add a Pokemon to this list that will make me inevitably cry and have sleepless nights. Um, and don't forget to hit the like, follow Twitch Lanius, and subscribe. We'll see you guys out. Uh, remember... New Phasmophobia videos every Wednesday. Um, this video is coming out on Sunday. Uh, next week, we're going to have a Global Pokemon Society Draft League battle um, coming out on this same day. 
So be sure you check that. Mr. Vlad the Man's a part of that as well. And uh, we'll see you guys out next time.